Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Let's start by you telling us a little bit about uh, uh, this uh, fascinating program that you're working on, the Kiwix. So uh, what is it all about? I work with Open Foundation West Africa as a programs manager. And one of the projects that we do at Open Foundation West Africa is the Kiwix for School project. It's a software that allows you to assess online educational materials, videos, content, and usually anything that you would find online that you need to connect the internet to, you can get it offline, okay, using KWIX. So basically that's what KWIX um, enables you to um, do. I found the tool very useful because of where uh, we are in Africa, <laughs> looking at the terrain where we live, looking at the internet penetration rates in Africa, we, we still realize that some people are offline. Internet penetration rate in Africa is about 58%, roughly. Not, it's not even up to 60%. A lot of people are offline. Even with those that are connected on the internet, we realize that there's still challenges. You talked about how this is an offline uh, tool that you can access anytime, meaning that uh, for the average person, somebody in a remote place in Ghana can access uh, this uh, program? Yes, because most of the people in the remote areas, in rural areas, don't have internet. Most of the people cannot afford internet bundles. Teachers are not able to do research. Students are not able to access these rich content that we have online, complementary educational resources that are accessible online. And so what we do is that when we install KWIX um, on this computer lab, they are coming with educational contents that usually are found online. We zen these files and then make it available on a KWIX reader that makes everyone or anyone who is using the computer to be able to browse the websites that have been um, put on the KWIX, just like you're browsing the internet. It allows you to do that. So you click here, you go here, you know, it gives you like, that feel of browsing on the internet. Meanwhile, you're not using data bundle, you're not using any of those things, okay? So it sort of like bridge that gap. How big is uh, e-learning in Ghana? E-learning has taken a different shape in Ghana, even though we were not prepared. One of the things that we, we, we bumped into when the pandemic happened is that we were not prepared for it, but then we have to do it. But even now that the pandemic has you know, subsided, we are still seeing e-learning happening. A lot of people are doing courses online. So I think it's just come to stay. How many schools have you been able to, uh, to maybe to connect uh, with uh, this uh, uh, software? We've reached about 40 schools. I think um, three schools in uh, outside Ghana through our case for School Africa, Africa Mentorship Program. We were able to pilot a project in Nigeria, in Congo, uh, in, I think in Tanzania as well. And in Ghana, we've been to about seven regions in Ghana and still counting. So all in total, we've reached about 40 schools. What is it going to take for Africans, young Africans like you, maybe to create solutions for some of the most pressing challenges that we have on the continent? I think Africa has there's so many challenges. And in as much as there's so many challenges, there are a lot of solutions that are out there that we can leverage on. We need to embrace technology as much as possible because technology is solving a lot of the problems that we see and, and our ability to explore, embrace it, you know, learn new technology, learn new things to be able to solve the very things that you want. Because I sometimes when I'm on, I'm having a challenge and, and I go online and I say, okay, I need a tool to turn this into that. And I'm, I'm amazed that I find it on online. It's there, it exists. So we should just have an open mind and, and know that there are a lot of things that we can use to solve problems and not just even solving problems personally, but we can look at how we can impact this knowledge because knowledge sharing, sharing is very important. That as Wikimedians, we value that knowledge sharing is very, very significant. The more we share, the more we, we are empowered, the more we get to know, the more we get to solve the very problems that we face. So I think knowledge sharing is very important and I really, really love that we share more knowledge about Africa. Well, Ruby, thank you so much for your time.
thank you so much, Paul.